So we're going to move into our next speaker, Desiree, who is the political, who is the political secretary of Unión del Barrio in Los Angeles. So please welcome Desiree. A garbage political system can only produce garbage political results. Today, on November 6, 2024, Harris once again proved that beyond the West Coast and the Northeast, the Democratic Party is a failure as a national electoral party. Ultimately, the Democratic Party has been and remains an anti-liberation organization with an anti-revolutionary ideology. As Raza and working class people, we owe the Democratic Party nothing. That's right. Even if she had won, a Harris presidency would have been more of the same wars, genocide, interventionism, and anti-working class policies. Yeah. On the other hand, the forthcoming second presidency of Trump will be a more organized, disciplined, radical, and vengeful government than his first term. Trump has a majority on the Supreme Court, the Senate, and the House. We must contend with the reality that the worst is yet to come, yeah. and we must prepare ourselves. That's right. Yes, Papi, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> we must prepare ourselves for intensified anti-Raza and anti-working class fascist violence. Here in LA, we don't need Trump to attack us. The Democrats are the ones attacking us here. In the education sector, several teachers and professors are under serious attack for their political work. Teachers are being doxxed, harassed, threatened, and sued, and removed from their classrooms for their support for Palestine and for denouncing the genocide in Gaza. It is because the system is collapsing that it is externalizing its most homicidal, colonial, imperial tendencies on a global scale. The, ra the radical right wing is advancing an agenda of collective psychosis intent on spreading political violence in every direction. MAGA Trumpism made inroads among working class people. The Trojan horse of religious fanaticism invited MAGA into our barrios. And it is what inevitably occupies the void left by the absence of pro raza and working class ideology and barrio based grassroots leadership. They use their religious fanaticism to rationalize the self-hate, racism, classism, homophobia, transphobia, pro-migra, pro-police, pro-imperialist, pro-Zionist, and anti-socialist inclinations. That's right. This false consciousness of our people can be traced to the impression of strength behind MAGA fascism and its language of power. It impresses too many of our people. The pathetic weakness and fake wokeness demonstrated by the self-loathing Hispanic Democrats alienated many of our gente in supporting the most anti raza president in the last century. But let's be clear, our people are not responsible for, nor do we benefit from, this deranged two-party system. We must be clear that our neighborhoods are the targets of these parties, of both of them. And we are subject to multiple ongoing external crises that are never resolved and will only worsen over time. The Hispanics who voted for Trump yesterday will soon find out what Project 2025 is all about and will learn the hard way. Too many people in our communities identify with the two-party system and their madness, and they identify more than they identify with their own liberation. That is to say that today, too far too many of our people are more deeply committed to this failing system and their own oppression than our people that understand the urgent need for a principled and organized working class liberation struggle. We recognize that this exposes the weakness of our movement at this point in history. Therefore, it is incumbent on our movement to grow and to lead our communities to understand that organized resistance both and resist both growing reactionary antagonism towards our people and the working class, 
and to recognize the threat that U.S. imperialism and global capitalism represent across Nuestra America and all around the globe against the survival of our species on this planet. To do this, we need more people to join movement organization, to build a serious movement to defend our communities and improve our living conditions. We need more people power. That is, we need more recruits. And in short, if you are here today, but you do not belong to a serious political organization, we invite you, we need you, join one. The central political struggle of our people for the working class at this time is not to lament defeat of the Democratic Party, but instead to move past the two-party system to truly defend ourselves and survive this generalized crisis. In closing, as Unión del Barrio, as we approach the celebration of the 10th anniversary of our successful fight in gaining ethnic studies as a high school graduation requirement in LAUSD, that was a grassroots campaign led by educators and students and community organizations. We must not forget that our people are a strong and resilient people. Yes. We do not forget the legacy of resistance that we come from and what is left to be, be built. We will not be treated as foreigners on our own historic homelands. We know, we know that people power is where it's at. That's right. That's right. So let's be ready to welcome our people into liberation struggle. We leave you with the slogan that for decades has guided our political work. Ni republicanos, ni democratas. Solo el pueblo organizado vencerá. We will continue to struggle more than ever to build towards a revolutionary political party and we invite you all to join us. Give it a hand for you.